I want to go to Romans chapter 16 verses 17 through 18. And to the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. So I want to talk about Christian versus Christian, something that never should be. And I want to speak about instigators as well. People who we need to stay away from. So let's get to it. Now I beseech you, brethren. So what does beseech mean? Let's look it up. Beseech, ask someone urgently and fervently to do something, implore, entreat. So, beseech means to ask urgently someone to do something for you. So, for instance, I can say, hey, I beseech you to go to the store and buy me some Jordans. Jordan shoes. <laughs> okay. So I am asking you urgently, urgently to do it. Okay. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Give me a second, please. Okay. So now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. So let me pause right here. So this is saying that we have to look out for people who cause divisions who cause conflict. Let me do an illustration. Let's say that there is Tom, Bob, and John. Let's say that Tom is this devious person, this very wicked person, someone that instigates all the time. And let's say that Bob and John is trying to help people, trying to do God's will, following his rules and regulations, and stuff like that. So, let's say that Tom speaks to John. And, you know, John has conversations with Tom, so on and so on. So, Tom goes to Bob. Then he says to Bob, hey, John was saying that, you know, you have this big head and um, you have a very bad haircut, like he does not like you, so on and so on. So Bob is like, why in the world would John say anything like that to me? Like, I don't mess with John. I don't really have anything to do with John, so why is he speaking to me like that? So what Bob does, Bob goes into sin as well by saying that, hey, John wears clothes that are out of date, and John has holes in his socks, he has a big mouth, so on and so on. So what Tom do, or what Tom does, he then go to John, then tells John the negative things that Bob have told Tom. So Tom goes to John, telling John the bad things Bob said about him. So then the thing that happens now Bob and John is in conflict now now the atmosphere is all messed up now okay so 
what may happen, Bob and John may argue, may, you know, talk crazy to each other. And let's say Bob goes out and slashes John's tires, his car tires. Then what John can do, go out, go out and find where Bob lives and throws a brick at, at his windows. In the beginning, Bob and John had no problem. But what happened? Tom came and instigated a conflict. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. So we have to look out for people like Tom. We have to stay away from people like Tom. So mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So we have to avoid people who come and whisper in our ears negative things about others. We have to stay away from people like that. Because if we don't, we are going to fall into sin. There is going to be conflict. Listen, when you go to church or any organization that deals with God, everyone there is not for God. There are witches there. There are people of the occult there. There are people that want to hinder the progress of that place. So if you listen to these evil people, you are going to fall short, meaning you are going to mess up. I pray that makes sense. So stay away from people who is coming to you, whispering to you bad things about others or telling you negative things that others are saying about you. Because what is the point in knowing what bad things people are saying about you? What can you do? Fight with them? That is a sin. Argue with them? That is a sin. What can you do? You can't do anything because that person that is talking wrong about you knows that they are wrong. So what can you say? You are wrong for speaking about me. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> So we have to stay away from people like Tom, this Tom character. Let's go to 18, please. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. So this is saying, let me say this. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> It is not for us to go around lying. That is a sin. It is not for us to go around telling others what, how bad other people are. That is not for us. We are not to slander people. Even if what you are saying is true or whatever, we can't talk about people. The Bible does not tell you to talk about preacher so-and-so. The Bible does not tell you to tell everyone how evil this pastor is. But the Bible tells you to pray for him or her, right? The Bible tells us to pray for people, not go around, get people against a certain person and build up conflict. The Bible does not tell us to do that. That is contrary to the doctrine of the Bible. <laughs> so let me go to 18. 
for they that are such serve not our Lord. So people who go around whispering, telling people negative things, instigating, building up conflict, those people don't serve Jesus. but their own belly. So they are only serving themselves. Actually, if you think about it, they are serving demons. <laughs> and by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. So simple people are being deceived because they are not relying on what the Bible is telling them. Stay away from people who instigates, that tell negative things about other people, stay away from them. Well, at least first say to them, hey, you are not supposed to slander people or say negative things about people. And if they continue, hey, you have to walk away. But if you fall into that trap, what is going to happen to you? We have to follow the Bible. We have to. Because if we don't and lean to our own understanding, we are going to fall short every time. We are going to mess up. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.